So here we have question number five from the first SAT practice test. Um, based upon the fact that we see an expression provided here, and the question is only really just two lines, um, we automatically know that the best strategy to use here is simplify. So I'm going to write the letter S for simplify. So again, anytime you have a question that can be simplified, the strategy is to simplify it really before even paying attention to how to solve the answer, what exactly is being looked for. Um, I will also make note of the fact that because all the answer choices have variables in them, we could be thinking about using the strategy plug in your own number. My thoughts, however, here is once we get to simplification, we'll be finished. But if I'm wrong, we'll need to simplify it and then maybe also plug our own number in. So let's get started with the simplification step first. So looking at the first set of parentheses here, there are no like terms within that, which means I can rewrite that without the parentheses. Because so remember, parentheses just group um, terms together, and if there isn't being anything distributed across it or uh, being simplified within it, then you really don't need them. So I'm going to rewrite this as x squared y minus 3y squared plus 5xy squared. So the next set of parentheses does have a negative sign on the outside of it, which means I would actually need to distribute that negative sign to each term inside the parentheses. So when I do that, I end up with a positive x squared y. So I'm actually going to place this right underneath this because that's going to make a lot of sense in a second here. And then I'm going to have a negative 3 xy squared, so I'm going to put that under here because that's the like term with the 5xy squared. And then I'm going to have a positive 3y squared, so I'll put that under there, make that a plus 3y squared. So I'm just going to combine all these terms together. So the first term, x squared y plus x squared y, gives me 2x squared y. My negative 3y squared plus 3y squared, well, that just eliminates itself. And then 5xy squared minus 3xy squared gives me a positive 2xy squared. So that is my solution from simplifying. I go to check my answer choices, and I do, in fact, see exactly what I, what I just found, which is in choice C. Um, just to make sure, again, the question does say which of the following is equivalent to the expression above. So simplifying gives us exactly what this question is asking for. So we're definitely finished here.